evaluate uh, integration of 1 over uh, square root of 9 minus 25x squared dx. Okay, now this, whenever you have a form like this, this should give you a clear indication that it is a trig substitution. Now, as it is minus here, I would, I'm looking at this identity of 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. You can also do the other way. All this has basically come from sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. So I'm going to do a trick substitution of sine theta. So I want a 1 here. So what can I do? So let me write this. This is integration of 1 over square root of 9 minus 25 x squared dx is equal to integration of 1 over I want a 1 here so what can I do I'm going to divide this by 9 so if I divide this by 9 I'll, I'll have also divide this by 9 so this is 25 over 9 x squared dx now you will say well how can you do that I can't do this I'm going to do a adjustment here to get rid of this 9. So basically I have divided by one third because square root of 1 over 9 is one third. So when you're dividing by one third to, uh, to nullify that or to you know, get rid of that uh, 3 which you're dividing. So this is you're dividing by one third that means you're multiplying by 3. So you have to multiply by one third. So I hope you understand this. This, when you, when this comes out, this is square root of one over three, and square root of one over one over nine. Sorry, sorry square root of one over nine is one over three. Or if you factor out this nine, this would be one over three, and that will go up, and that's why I put in three here. So basically, this and this are the same. So this becomes integration of one third is sitting here out. 1 over square root of 1 minus 25x squared over 9. Now this 1 is what I want because I'm comparing with this 1. So I'm going to take this whole thing as sine squared theta. So let me change color. So I'm going to say let, of course, dx I've got here. This is dx. I'm going to say let, let, 25 x squared over 9 be my sine squared theta. This implies I can say sine theta is nothing but taking square root of both sides is nothing but 5x over 3 and this implies theta is sine inverse of 5x over 3. Now I'll use this later on uh, because I want to uh, change this because what we're going to do is we're going to change this whole thing into a trig form into uh, a trigonometrical form and then we'll have to come back in in the x uh, in the form of x so that's what I've done okay so yeah again uh, let me rewrite so uh, what have we got uh, so uh, I'm writing this uh, can I write uh, x from this? Can I write x is 3 fifth sine theta? x is 3 fifth sine theta. So differentiating with respect to theta, dx by d theta is 3 fifth cos theta, which implies dx is nothing but 3 fifth cos theta d theta. In place of dx, I can put 3 fifth cos theta d theta. So this is going to change and this is going to change because this whole thing can be written as uh, sine squared theta. So uh, let me rewrite. So uh, this implies one third integration of 1 over square root of 1 minus 25x squared over 9 dx. This has come from here. Is equal to 1 third will remain 1 third. Integration of 1 over square.
square root of 1 minus this is sine squared theta times your dx is nothing but 3 fifth cos theta d theta. Okay, so this has become, so this is 1 third times integration of 1 over, now this is 1 minus sine squared is cos squared and square root of cos squared is cos theta times uh, 3, let me write 3 fifth times cos theta d theta. Okay, so we're almost there, so this is nothing but 1 fifth, so, uh, this 1 third gets cancelled, so what will get cancelled? This, this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled, this cos theta and cos theta gets cancelled, so this is nothing but one fifth times integration of one d theta. Okay, and this is nothing but one fifth times uh, theta. Integration of one d theta is theta plus c. And what is theta? Theta is nothing but sine inverse of five x over three. Therefore, we can say integration of one over one over uh, square root of 9 minus square root of 9 minus 25 x squared dx is one fifth times sine inverse of uh, sine inverse of 5x over 3 plus c which is the constant of integration.